The Sensational 7 Countdown, sponsored by Sleep Tight. Better bed, less money. Number 7. We kick off the Sensational 7 Countdown at QU Stadium, where once again, Griffin Kern was lights out to open a weekend series against Rockhurst. The Quincy native had everything working for him, and Rockhurst batters had no answer for him. Kern would throw six innings, only giving up one run on three hits, and he sent 15 batters back to the dugout on strikeouts, wheeling and dealing. Always a good day when Mr. Kern is on a roll. Number six. We do some high school softball action where there was no lack for runs between Rushville Industry and Liberty on the softball diamond. A total of 32 runs scored in this game and a few long balls along the way. Check out Rushville Industries' Aubrey Suter tattooing this ball, hitting the pole beyond the fence for a solo home run. That ball got out of there in a hurry. Number five. But her teammate Devin Vogler would try to one-up her with a blast of her own. Two runners on for Vogler, and she got every piece of that pitch and hit a rope over the fence for a three-run jack. My goodness, what a swing. Number four. We head to the soccer pitch now where Malia Stolte was on a mission in the Pirates opener against Warrington. This goal right here was Miss Stolte's first career goal, but you know what? She didn't stop there. Stolte went from her first career goal to pulling off the hat trick in the Pirates 8-0 win. Congratulations to her on that accomplishment. Number three. Quincy High hosted the Kirksville Tigers and the Blue Devils defense showed up to play. Check out Kyle Taylor over at shortstop charging in on the low line drive, but he would hit the dirt and make the spectacular diving grab to record the out. Now that was not easy. Incredible grab from him and the Blue Devils 6-3 win. Number two. We head back to that high scoring Rushville Industry Liberty softball game, not for offense this time, however, but instead some great defense. Liberty's J.C. Blair had center field all locked up. A shallow fly ball looked like it was gonna sneak in for a base hit, but Blair came in hot and made the diving grab to steal a base hit. A very difficult catch that was indeed, but I tell you what, she made that look quite easy. Number one. But the top spot this week comes from the Brown County Lady Hornets and some spectacular defense. First, it was Olivia Akins with the unassisted double play at third base to help get out of the jam, and then check out Renessa Ward at second base. Tough fly ball just behind second, but just look at the catch. Over the shoulder like Willie Mays to take away a hit and possibly a run. Magnificent play from her, which is why she's earned top spot this week, Sensational 7 style.